Welcome to Best Notes Tutorial. Today we will talk about American Gothic literature. And first of all, the question comes in mind that why it is American Gothic. American Gothic literature combines Gothic elements with American themes such as religious and wilderness, anxiety, westward expansion and racial tensions. So as you can see, uh, it has Gothic elements. What are Gothic elements? First of all, we should know. First is Macabre, Death of Fear supernatural elements you you will witness there and later we can discuss about uh, psychological trauma you will feel while reading uh, reading uh, gothic genre and then the final one is terror and it started uh, in uh, in between uh, you can say uh, late 18th and early 19th century okay so remember this late 18th and early 19th century the time period of uh, american gothic literature if we talk about important works in this genre american gothic literature so first of all the most important work is the legend of sleepy hollow the legend of sleepy hollow uh, this work uh, brought this uh, we can say uh, by washing Irvington, uh, Ir Irving was the first short story that ignited the American Gothic genre. So this work, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, this work was by Washington Irving. Next is Ezra Allan Poe and uh, this writer is a short story writer. You should remember short story writer. And he has written a lot of uh, short stories, but some of uh, his important works are The Fall of the House of the Usher. This got published in 1839. And The Pit and the Pendulum. Pit and the Pendulum, the interesting uh, short story. The Telltale, Telltale Heart. So these are important works by as a Allen Poe. Next important writer is Nathaniel, Nathaniel Hawthorne. The Haunted Mind is the work by this writer. And these all works, if you are uh, studying a Gothic literature, these questions can be asked from there. The Yellow Wallpaper. Yellow Wallpaper is by Charlotte Perkins. So here are the important works. Now let's come to the question. What is difference between European and American Gothic literature or uh, American Gothic genre? First is the landscape. The difference between the uh, European Gothic literature and American uh, Gothic literature is the first is the landscape is different. Second is social structure. As I told you, uh, when we uh, when we say American Gothic literature, so what is uh, you know we can we can say common themes. Social structure is uh, different there. Like rational cannot overcome irrational and past is alive. This is important uh, here. Uh, you, uh, let me write down here. The important thing is past is alive. You will see past is alive in American Gothic literature. Third is, uh, okay, I have written here all past is alive. This is important. So these are common themes in American Gothic literature. Uh, and you, you can see the blurred line between reality and fantasy in American Gothic literature. So we covered the definition of American Gothic literature and the elements of uh, Gothic genre. Here are some important writers and their works you can go through and the difference between European and American Gothic literature, landscape, social structure, architecture and the past is alive, uh, this quality. So if you like the video, you can uh, uh, thumbs up the video and you can write down in comment box which next topic you uh, you wish to study with me at 7.30. So daily at 7.30 you can visit the 7.30 p.m. our channel and if you wish to join our courses uh, for English literature, basic English literature uh, course you can join or uh, for UGC net or any other TGT, PGT courses, you can contact on uh, our WhatsApp number, our WhatsApp number is 740928715. Uh, 
156. So on this number, you can uh, contact us and see you soon in next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care.